Hello, Forecaster here again, and we are back for detour number seven, and this is Ballistic Tanks. And Ballistic Tanks is a uh, casual action game. It was released on the 20th of September 2016, uh, published by KL Studios and developed by Kirk Lucas, so one person. And it is a game where you drive a tank around a an arena and you shoot other tanks and there are different arenas and upgrades that you can get during um, matches and it's pretty fun so we are in the arcade mode which as you can see is the solo and or cooperative mode should be an or just an or obviously um, so this is the single player basically you fight against waves of AI tanks and you can optionally have another player join you and help you and you can see that you earn coins during matches and before a match if you have earned coins you get to spend them on these upgrades so for example if I were to buy uh, bolt range and bolt speed then these four I can buy anything with so I will lose them when I start the game because you don't get to keep any leftover coins um, and then for next time you have to earn coins during this following game which we are going to start soon so the reason I got this game is because it has local co-op as you can see um, it supports controllers of course and the back in the main menu because this is, this is not the main menu we can actually go out and have a look there. I hope I don't lose these. Here you can see how the game looks, essentially. Uh, which is why I didn't start here, because it's a bit noisy. You can see that there is a versus mode as well. We can have a quick look here. You can see that you can play up to four players. Uh, we have three modes. Deathmatch, Juggernaut, and Power Shift. Uh, control point random gameplay modifiers and then just free-for-all um, and yeah and you can see that I've unlocked all the upgrades for these um, this game mode by playing in the arcade mode and you can play this against boss bots but I don't really do that don't see the point really um, so back to the arcade mode I did get my money back. Can if you exit, I guess you can undo the purchases. So, essentially, pick a tank. As far as I know, there isn't any difference between any of these. This one is one I've unlocked. I got this one from a crate that randomly dropped during a game. Uh, these two, you can see the conditions for. Uh, this one is a mystery and of course I have no idea how to unlock that. You can change the difficulty I usually play on fair. Uh, don't really know what if there's any drawback to playing on easy but I think fair is a good challenge for me. So let's start a game and this is the arena. It looks pretty much the game looks pretty much as it did on the main menu so that was not a lie and basically enemy tanks spawn they try to shoot me I shoot them and I try to survive the game is at its core it's pretty simple as a good game should be but it has a bunch of nuances and challenges uh, there are, of course, different enemy types. Um, there are some very varied arenas to fight in, and each round you get put into a new one at random. So they are not in a specific order. And I keep seeing new ones occasionally. Dang it that coin. As you can see, 
shots can hit them, hit each other in mid-air, and they will take each other out. So you can use that to block enemy shots. At the end of each run, you round, you get a an upgrade. And this time I got a shield, which will absorb a single shot. There's a new enemy. Um, and if, if I enter that field, I will get uh, slowed, which is not particularly good. See there, I don't think they do anything else. They just make you easier to hit for the normal tanks. Which isn't a good thing, obviously. Ooh. Well, I got a speed upgrade there, and then I got hit by... or trapped in the field. But yeah, so the game is pretty simple. The challenge ramps up, you get more enemies at a time, new enemy types appear occasionally. Um, like these ones with a shield on them that will absorb a shot from the front. You can see there is a new type which has kind of a beam weapon. You obviously don't want to stay. Ah, uh, dang it, I didn't have time to shoot that. If you have 50 coins, you can, you can pay that to get to continue, or you could wait out the timer and come back out to the main menu and spend them on upgrades instead, which is what I tend to do. Let's start a new game. But yeah, there isn't... Like I said, the game is uh, very simple at its core, and this is pretty much it. Beyond new enemy types like the Juggernaut, um, for example, and probably other ones that I haven't seen. This is pretty much the game. And, of course, the primary reason I got it was to play with my friends, uh, which I'm looking forward to trying when, I, when we get the chance, the next get-together. Um... And the game is also still being updated, still being worked on. I don't remember if it's in early access or not, but that doesn't really matter because as far as I'm concerned, uh, this is a complete game as it is. Dang it, a hard one. Um, but there are, on the game's website, which since I mentioned it, I going to link to that in the description. They list a bunch of features that are planned, um, and one of those is actually a new game mode, Siege, which sounds interesting. It says, two versus two, protect your base, destroy theirs, and I'm definitely looking forward to uh, seeing that. The other ones are Endless and uh, Retro, it says. Endless, of course, is going to be a uh, solo and co-op mode where you face endless waves of enemies. Uh, I assume this mode then has an actual end where you are forced to, or where you win, basically. Uh, and then Retro says 16-bit sprites and old-school gameplay, which I assume means that um, they're going to replace these nice modern graphics with old 16-bit looking ones, and I have no idea what old-school gameplay means. Uh, I guess we'll... I'll find out when that is done. But yeah, so if you think this looks interesting, you should definitely pick it up. Uh, it starts... I like that it starts very quickly. Um, 
it's one of those games you can you can throw it up quickly and play a couple of uh, games uh, while waiting for something or while being bored and not having anything else to do and then just close it down when you get something to do and I like those kinds of games um, so yeah there, there have been a couple of bugs sometimes uh, AI tanks get stuck like you can see it right there they get stuck on each other sort of uh, sometimes they get stuck on corners of static walls which is a bit odd I got an extra life, which is nice. Um, but, like I said, the game is still being worked on. You can report any such bugs. Uh, and hopefully they'll get fixed eventually. Uh, I've reported one where there was a particular level that had a spawn point inside of a wall chunk so when you were in an enemy spawn in there you were stuck and if an enemy had spawned in there uh, you couldn't get to them so you couldn't win or continue the game you had to quit uh, and if you spawn there of course you can shoot out to where the enemies are so it's just the same situation uh, but yeah so that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, so, this is going to be a relatively short detour, but I hope you found it interesting nonetheless. Uh, fortunately, the enemies have a limited range as well. Losing a lot of coins here due to getting stuck. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to end the video here, and I will see you in the next one.